So what do you do when you show up at the dentist a month early? You go home and you vlog about it. So I have a minor repair to do on one of my tooth and I was rushing all day because it's income tax season and I gotta prepare all my reports and tomorrow I'm going to see my accountant. So anyways, make a long story short, I'm running late so I get into my car and I call the dentist to tell them that I was going to be late. Yeah, you get the scenario. And she started laughing and she says, you're not late, you're a month early. So, because February and March have the same days. I don't know if you've noticed, but if it's not a leap year, the days are exactly the same. So, Tuesday the 25th of February is a Tuesday the 25th of March. And I must have taken the wrong month when I put in the appointment in my phone, which was just last week, but I still couldn't remember. So it is Tuesday, um, February 25th, and it's a California day. Cheers. Okay, so have you had a good weekend, my lovelies? I had a fantastic weekend. I had a very, very creative weekend. Saturday, <laughs> I had to think there. Saturday, my good friend Kathy came over for a play date. We didn't have a lot of time to play because we ended up talking and then Steph and Xander came over for lunch and we had a blast. It's always good. Um, you remember my friend Kathy. She's been in my videos uh, last year. Anyways, we always have a ton of fun when we get together, but we chat a lot and she showed up at 10 and we only started playing at around 2.30 and she had to leave at 5. So we did do, well, we started a project together. Uh, in our art journal and here's a picture that was the inspiration that photo was sent to her by a friend of hers and um, it's beautiful but obviously that photo is probably of a stained glass or um, a painting on a glass with reflective light those white circles uh, look like lights anyways that's what they look like to me so uh, it's very tough to reproduce on paper and I only had time to work with the face. So let me just show you. Let me just show you really quickly. It's not finished because I haven't done the doodling part, which I will film. And no, I did not film when Kathy was here. Um, the space did not allow us to do that. But I will show you. That's my representation of that face that you just saw in the picture, which is very different. And I started laying down the colors. Uh, there. That's better. And then I'm going to start doodling around this and I'll, I'll figure something out. And then on Sunday, I attended a class given my, by my friend Giselle at the store at Scrapbook Central. And the, um, it was her art journaling class. She has a monthly series on art journaling. And uh, she, if, you, if you're in the Montreal area and you ever have the chance to attend a Giselle class, it's quite an experience. She is so passionate about her art and she's a fantastic teacher. Her enthusiasm is so communicative that you get out of there and you're just pumped. Um, so the class, it's all about art journaling. The class was about collaging. So she brought in a few examples of her amazing material. She's done canvas, obviously she's done uh, art journal pages and all kinds of stuff. But, um, so it was collage and I didn't quite know what to do, but I only knew that I wanted to make a cupcake because she had done one in her journal as an example. It was a page with a big cupcake on it. I knew I wanted to do cupcakes because I can't have them right now. But they turned out to be, um, I made a forest of cupcakes. You know I like my forest, right? So I made a forest of cupcakes on sticks with wings on them because cupcakes give me wings I quoted uh, it was funny this this was like a collab effort and I'll, I'll show you in better detail when I hook up the camera overhead but um, there's uh, one man that always attends the class uh, his name's Robert and he came over and I said you know I think I'm gonna put the title cupcakes give me wings and he says yeah it's better than the Red Bull apparently it's a commercial I don't watch TV. I don't have cable. I do not watch TV. I don't listen to radio. I have my iPod plugged into my car and I'm a little bit disconnected from the world. <laughs> Apparently that's a commercial. You guys can check that for me. But anyways, so it was quite funny. 
So I give him credit for the quote at the bottom. And uh, I love how they turned out. This was so much fun. So I will chat to you about that. I will also show you the preview of what I did with Kathy. And let's get to it. So this is my double spread. This is uh, from the collage class. So what I did is I layered two paints, um, two colors of paint. I have baby blue here up top and then apple green at the bottom. So that was my starting point. And then I started collaging these little bits of paper. And I took um, book text from an old book that I have. I think it's a Reader's Digest from the 1950s or something like that. And then I just glued it all down with Collage Page by um, Tracy Batista. By the way, I learned this in Giselle's class. Did you know that? Let me show you the bottle. If you mix this with your paint when you are journal, none of your pages will stick together. This will prevent from sticking. So let's say you've done like, I don't know, what can I show you as a... Here, this is a lot of paint. Whoops, this is a lot of paint. And a few months after you make it, it still sticks. Well, apparently, if you add collage polish to your paint, of course, you will probably lose a bit of the shine if you're using golden, they're very shiny, but your pages won't stick. Isn't that fun? Anyways, I learned that in Giselle's class, which was awesome. I also mixed in some um, map paper from an old map that she had and that she shared with us. And I knew I wanted to make cupcakes. They ended up being cupcakes on a stick. See, I'm all about enchanted forest and imaginary forest. <laughs> um, this one is a field of cupcakes, <laughs> a field of flying cupcakes. This was a mistake. <laughs> it's a happy mistake. I was making the clouds. I was um, um, ripping some papers to make clouds and I ended up putting a cloud here and it looked like a wing. So I just went with my idea afterwards <laughs> and I just added wings to my cupcakes. Hence the title, Cupcakes Give Me Wings Better Than Red Bull. Uh, so the cupcakes and the icing and even the cherries on top, they're all paper piece. The wings as well. I made a bit of tall grass here and there. I stamped with this um, doodle bug. Is it doodle bug? Yeah, doodle bug background stamp. Uh, kind of like a chicken wire fence. And um, then I doodled around. Well, not, yeah, I guess I traced the outlines of the cupcakes with uh, a pen added some details, then added some shading with a big brush pen, and um, I added uh, stickles. These are the, the old, remember the ice stickles that Ranger had a few years ago? This is what I used. I like it because it's coarse. It's very big. And then I also added glossy accents to each of the cherries, so you can kind of see it if I move the book by the reflection. And then I just added some paint with, you know, my fingers to uh, dirty it up a little bit. And then th these spots of white are supposed to be stamped uh, lettering or text. They just came out like spots, but that's okay. I like them still. <laughs> so that is my cupcake page. And what I started with Kathy when Kathy was over is this. I'm going to give you a close-up. Now the lady, I still have to work at it a little bit. Uh, you made the face. Um, I had to redo parts of her mouth because it was too small on this side. And so I need to add a bit of shadow, but I paint with my fingers. I find that I have better control, which is odd, I know, but I find I have better control if I paint with my fingers, at least when I do the shading. The fine details like this was done with a small brush, but then I always like, I start with the brush and then all of a sudden, without even knowing it, the brush finds itself in my left hand and I'm using my fingers to blend. But anyways, she's not perfect and I, my approach is more like a painterly uh, approach um, and I still have to you know, perfect her, no, not perfect. I don't want to use the word perfection, but it's because it's, it's completely gone from my vocabulary, but I need to work at shadowing here. And essentially what I'm going to do now, and as you can see, I probably can zoom in here. I've already started tracing. Oh, let me backtrack. 
Okay, so, and then what I did with a big flat brush, I started adding uh, colors and movement to her hair. Like this is, the whole page is uh, her hair. So I took a big flat brush and I just added primary colors, basically. And now I'm at the stage of doodling or adding uh, trace lines. You can see some of them here and here. It's a work in progress, like I said. And then I'm going to add doodle and I'm also going to add shading and white. So when this is finished, I'm obviously going to show it to you. Now this piece started from a photo, but it's something that I don't particularly enjoy doing. I'd rather create from my own inspiration, but um, Kathy really wanted to use the photo the one thing I hate, or the the one thing that I'm very afraid of, is creating exactly like the person did on the piece of artwork. I do not want to copy. Uh, there's no added value to me in copying exactly because it's not as personal. So when I have a photo as inspiration, I try to make it as different as possible, but keeping the same idea in mind. So what I retained from that piece of artwork was a face and flying hair. <gasps> and this is what I did here. So I'm going to put my spin on this and I cannot wait to finish this piece because it, it's so unusual for me to use these colors that I really want to see how it turns out. I also made cards yesterday, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate. I don't want to show you everything in one video because not everybody is into art journaling. Not everybody is into cards, which are the two main things that I do anyways. So um, I'm going to show you in a separate videos more like paper crafting stuff, I guess. And uh, that way by keeping it separate and by titling it, properly and adding it to the proper playlist then people can pick and choose what they want to watch and that is all good so that's it for today thanks for watching i hope you have a wonderful week as usual if you have any questions or comments leave them below and i will see you later bye